In this video, I'm going to go over and review the Slide and Scan Digital Film Scanner by Kodak. I've never used this before, so it's still in the box, everything is ready to go. So I'm just gonna go over the specifications that are on the box really quick. It has a USB 2.0 interface. The image sensor is 130 megapixels, which is 4,208 by 3,120 with a third CMOS sensor. The display is a five inch display. You could spend a little bit more money and get a seven inch display if you want. This particular model is the five inch. The resolution that it scans at is 14 megapixels or 22 megapixels that's interpolated. Now, my recommendation is just go with the 14 megapixel because interpolation means that it's just sort of making up extra pixels to scan at a bigger size. It's not a bad thing, but if you just want a true quality scan, go with the 14 megapixel. It does come with an HDMI cable, which I guess you can hook it up to a TV and you can display the image for your family while you're uh, doing your scans, right? That's sort of fun family thing to do. The external memory support of this is a 32 gigabyte SD card. It doesn't come with the SD card, but it does specifically say 32, which means to me that it won't support anything over 32, but it most likely will support smaller SD cards like 16. But uh, just stick with the 32 because that's what the box says. So I recommend that. Now it also says that the power supply, you can connect this directly into the computer to get power or you can connect it to a regular power source. It does come with a power cord, but not a USB adapter such as this. So I took off my gloves so I can get this out of the box a little easier without it slipping around on me. Um, so first things first, here is the USB 2.0 which is going to be the power supply, I believe. Here is the HDMI cable that you can connect to your TV. Adapters here for the film. A lot of them in here. Okay, this one is for 110 film. Put that right there. Here's for 126 film. 35 film. And it looks like this is the main adapter that these look like these will slide into. So this would, looks like this goes directly into the machine and then these adapters slide in, put the film in. All of this plastic, it seems really nice and strong plastic, which is good. Let's figure out how oh, this opens up, I guess, just like this. There we go. That opens up, it sort of has a switch right here you lift up. So like I said, this plastic is really nice, it's strong, it's smooth. It doesn't look like any of these would uh, scratch or film. So that's really good. Okay, let's pull out this main unit here. Throw that on the ground. Here we go, it also has an instruction manual right here, so that's good. Maybe I should have read that, but I was anxious just to do this. Let's get the box down here. Here's the main unit. It's packaged well, bubble wrap. Oh, you know, right off the bat, this is really slick looking. Look at the buttons, the buttons are really nice and big. And uh, here's a protective coating, so. Your LED screen won't get scratched or your view screen won't get scratched. So on the back, it looks like you have your outputs here, the HDMI, the SD, and also what would power the unit. And on the side, this is where you're gonna slide in your film. In the box, it also came with this uh, cleaner stick that it looks like you just can Push it right in and give it a clean. I wouldn't use this to clean your film or you know, glasses with, but uh, so you just 
can slide it all in, wipe it around, make sure that your surface is clean. Now let's get going with this unit. I already have my SD card in and ready to go. So let's hit that power button. Here is the home page. It has film type, USB upload, gallery, and set date and time. I already set the date and time because I was playing around with this a little bit. On the top, we have your home button and a P for preview. And to the left, here is a trash can for deleting, a little play button. We also have a backwards and forward and above it has a little light for brightness. And on this button here, it has RGB, which stands for red, green, and blue. So it looks like we can go ahead and adjust however we want. And then right here says OK and a little camera button. So that is going to take the picture. So let's go ahead and hit this OK button, which it's selected on the film type. It has 50 millimeter slides, which is these 35s that we're gonna do. Hit OK. 135 film. Okay. So now here, this is where this picture is going to be shown. And when I first powered on the unit, it automatically defaulted to 22 megapixels right here. If we hit this R button where the trash can is, it's going to change it to the different megapixels. So I'm gonna put it to the 14, which I recommend. Now here is the unit that goes into the machine that you're going to load your 35 millimeter slides in. So it has this arrow right here, and that is conjunction to this arrow right there. Let's just slide it in. And it stops. It doesn't go any farther than that. So I'm assuming that is going to give me a perfect picture. So let's take this first slide right here and let's slide it in. There we go. You can push it in. Now you're loading your photos. So let's load this one in. I have it facing me. It probably is going to go upside down. I don't know, but we can see how I'm just pushing it. All right, so here is the first photo. Before I take the picture, what you can do is adjust the brightness. And that is that button right there. And you can use the left and the right to go back and forth. And I hit that. I'm going to keep it in the center. That looks really good to me. It may not look good to you on the camera, but it looks good to me on here. Now I'm going to hit the home button and the P button, which is preview. It's going to get rid of the brightness. Now I'm going to want to select the RGB. And I can go up and down these buttons here. And then hit the play. The play button here is going to advance it to the green. I can do the same thing. I can adjust the green, go to the play, adjust the blues, just like that. And then I can go over to return. Okay, I hit the home button preview, got rid of all that. It looks like I'm ready to scan this photo. So let's just hit the scan. The OK photo button, a little hourglass, and that's our first photo. Take another picture, we can load it in, and it's going to advance it to the next photo. <laughs> I remember that picture. And see what's happening is the more slides I load in, it starts pushing it out the other side. So if I load one more in, I could probably get this done a little bit better. There we go. And hit the OK. Get another photo in there. 
Well, it's sideways, but that's me and my brother and my mom. Okay, I think we get the point of this. So let's see if we can get back to the gallery. So I'm going to hit this home button. And we're going to go over to gallery right here. Probably hit OK. And here's the different images that I scanned today and when I was also messing around with it. So you can use these arrow buttons on the top again to navigate through of what you want. Here's just a blank. I can hit this trash can. It says delete and it's highlighted no. I'm going to hit yes. So it deleted that photo. So that looks really great. Here's all of the images that are sorted on the SD card ready to go on the computer. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and try the 35 millimeter film now. Here is the adapter for the 35 millimeter film. It locked right into place that easily. Let's just close that up and like before, we're gonna slide it in till it locks. Here's the film type. I believe we're just going to, we can go over to the color negative Hit OK. And 135 film. Hit OK. All right. Let's just slide it in and see what happens. It's upside down. Let's put it in the other way. Here we go. Doing an auto exposure. Here is a picture of a room. Not sure what that's all about. Is it okay? You can just advance by pushing it through. It's a picture of a person, I have no idea. It should start popping out the other side. It is right now, so I can start pulling. Picture of a house. Okay, that's the end of this film. That was really easy. That was the first time I ever tried that. So let's go to the home button again. Get my gloves off. Let's go over to gallery. Hit okay. And here's that picture of the house. It seems like it's only showing one picture, which like frightened me at the moment. But it says 10 of 10. So I bet, there they are. You just have to advance it backwards. So here's all the pictures I took, scanned. Let's just hit okay on that. So it gives a nice big picture. I bet we can scroll through, we can. That looks great. Back at the beginning again. So that seems really easy. It only took me a few minutes just to test it out to see how things operate but really user friendly. So I gotta tell you, when I first received this from Kodak, I thought it was going to take forever to scan every 35 millimeter slide because what I thought was you had to open it up, put in a slide, close it up, stick it in, and then hit the okay button take it back out again and then put another slide in and repeat and repeat and repeat. And it just seemed like it's just going to take a long time, but that wasn't the case at all. You just load it. And I just love how you put it in, it advances the pictures through, 
and you can see, and then it just pops out the other side just like that. It's really, really slick. Another thing I really liked about this were the buttons on the top. They're really nice and big, easy to see. Everything seemed really self-explanatory. Yes, I did go through the owner's manual just to get a quick preview of what this old girl does. And I really, really liked it a lot. And so I do recommend going through the owner's manual quickly whenever you get this. Now I do have a link to this item in the description of this video for the five inch screen. But remember, you can also get the seven inch screen as well. And I can put a link to that in as well. Now, remember, if you do hit that link and you do purchase this machine, you are going to be supporting my channel, which I really, really appreciate it. Now, if you don't have the time to do this or the means, or you just don't want to go and purchase one yourself, I would love to be able to help you out. You can go to my website, coloradospringsvideo.com. I do have a special order page that you can click on, fill out the media that you wanna to send to me and I can get it transferred for you. You can also contact me directly at info at coloradospringsvideo.com with any type of questions you may have outside of putting a comment on this video. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe, like, and ring that bell for future notifications. You have yourself a wonderful day. I really like this.